Hi everybody. Welcome back. Are you ready to sing some more songs with us and get some more Bible questions? We're ready. Let's start with the Old Testament. In the beginning. Let's see how many books of the Bible that you can remember. Want to sing that song with us? Here we go. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, First and Second, Samuel, First Kings, Second Kings, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Song of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Zechariah, and the last book, Malachi. That was 39 books? We did good. Yeah, I heard you singing. Very good. Okay, let's start with question number one. In the beginning, God created the world. Can you believe that? He did it just by himself. He did. God did it. He created this world. How many days did it take him to create the world? Do you remember? How many days? Six days to create the world. And on that seventh day, what did he do? Miss Deidre knows. He rested. That's right. Let's sing that song. That's a fun song. Let's sing that one. Are you ready? Here you go. <laughs> on the first day, God created the light. On the second, the heavens up in the sky. On the third day, God made plants and trees. On the fourth, the sun and moon and stars we see. On the fifth day, God created the fish and the birds. On the sixth day, all the animals on land and in his own image, God made man. On the seventh day, he made for rest. All creation was good. Yay! I heard you singing. That's Thank a you. good song. Yes. Okay, so once this beautiful world was created, God made this beautiful garden, and it was called the Garden of Eden. And he placed the first man and first woman in this garden. Do you know their names? I think Miss Deidre knows. She's trying not to say. <laughs> okay, what is the first man's name? His name is Adam, and the first woman's name is Eve. Adam and Eve. That's right. Very good. Very good. Now, Adam and Eve were in this beautiful garden, and they were told they could have anything they wanted but go to this one tree of the knowledge of good and evil. They must not visit. But unfortunately, they did. And when they did, they sinned. And this sin made them leave the beautiful garden. God made them leave, and they were very sad. So they had to go and prepare their own crops and work really hard for the ground. And they could not live in this garden anymore. So when they left the garden, they had some children. And they had two sons, and their names were, does anybody know? Cain and Abel. Very good. See, Deidre's got them. Cain and Abel. They had different jobs. Cain took care of all the beautiful crops that he grew, and he was a good farmer. He did a very good job. And then Abel took care of the sheep. He was a shepherd. And so they lived together very happily. Well, also, they had another brother. And this brother we don't know a lot about, but we do know some about him. His name was Seth. Here he is, Seth. Can you remember it and say that name with me? Seth. Seth was his name. So we have a third boy that we know about. That's right. Very good. All right. So 
The next question I'm going to ask, I know you know, Noah was his name, and he's the man that God chose to build the big boat. Remember? The big boat. And in this boat, he was to put two of every animal by God's instruction. Well, he was put in that boat. God said, you can save eight people total. Do you know who those people were? Do you know? Here they are. Cedra, I'm going to get you to hold the boat. Sure. And here they are. Who were they? Do you remember their names? Noah and his wife and his three sons and their wives. We don't know the wives' names, but we know his three sons' names. Do you know what they were? Can you name them? Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Very good. Those were all in the boat. And when they got in this boat and they were very safe, the water couldn't get to them. So God made it rain on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. And it rained and it rained. And when that time was over, okay, they came out. Noah came out of the boat and he was so thankful that God had spared him and his family's life that he offered a sacrifice to thank God for it. And guess what? God put a promise and put something in the sky, gave us a promise, and put this in the sky that tells us he will never flood the earth again. Do you know what that is? What did he put in the sky? He put a rainbow. He put a rainbow in the sky that said, I will never, ever flood the earth again. That's my promise to you. So God said, I will put this rainbow in the sky. So next time you see a rainbow, you know this is from God. And he promises you he will not flood this world again with water. Good job. Okay. So when you see a rainbow, a rainbow, a rainbow. So when you see the rainbow, remember the promise of God. He promised he would never again, never again, never again. He promised that he would never again destroy the earth by water. Very good job, good. Deidre. Thank you for that song. Yeah. Now let's go ahead and sing our New Testament books. And then we'll have a few questions from the New Testament. Are you ready to sing? Here we go. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Acts and the letter to the Romans. First and second Corinthians. Galatians and Ephesians. Philippians, Colossians. First and second Thessalonians. First and second Timothy, Titus and Philemon, Hebrews, James. First and second Peter, first and second and third John, Jude and Revelation. Very good. That was 27 books. We have 39 in the old, 27 in the new. Put them all together and what do you get? 66 books in the Bible. Very good, very good. Now, what do we learn from the New Testament? We learn that God sent his son Jesus to save us from our sins. So we're going to start at the beginning of that. Jesus was born a little baby. Grew and he grew and he grew. Can anyone tell me what his marker pencil was? Very easy. Very what easy. was his mother's name? It starts with an M. Mary. That's right. And who remembers what his father's name was? Joseph. Joseph. Good Very job. Good. Good job. Do you remember where Jesus was born? Can you tell me the place where he was born? It's a town that begins with the letter B. Bethlehem. That's right. And Jesus was born there, but he grew and he grew and he grew. And the Bible tells us 
that he became a grown man and he started teaching and preaching about God's kingdom. So here he is teaching some of them now. He also healed many people to show his great power and that it was from God. Now, Jesus chose 12 men to help him with this teaching and this healing. Do you know what they were called? The apostles. That's right. He had 12 apostles to help him with his work here on earth. That's right. They were all good helpers to him. They had to learn along the way, but they did a good job. That's kind of like us, isn't it? We believe and we follow, but we never stop learning. That describes the apostles as well. That reminds me of a song. Let's sing the words of the apostles. I'm ready. Are you? Here we go. Jesus called them one by one. Peter, Andrew, James, and John. Next came Philip, Thomas, too. Matthew and Bartholomew. James, the one they call the less, Simon, also Thaddeus, the twelve apostles Judas made, Jesus was by him betrayed. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them. Yes, Jesus called them, and they all followed him. <laughs> Very good. God's Word is so special, isn't it, Miss Vicki? It is. We're so thankful to have it. It teaches us so much. You know, inside of that Bible is all the answers to life that we'll ever have. That, that's what makes it special. Well, we want you to keep reading your Bible and keep learning your Bible stories and keep singing these songs so that we will never forget God's promises. And when we come back, we'll be able to sing all these songs together and everyone will know the Word. Absolutely. We will see you again very soon with some more questions. So let's be thinking. Let's be reading. We love you. Love you. Bye-bye.